Okay, here's my UFC 116 predictions. Lesnar versus Carwin takes place a week from yesterday. Uh, as it just turned midnight here in the West Coast. Uh, so, Saturday, July 3rd at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, so, like I always do, plumbers, I'm just going to say who wins. And then uh, I will discuss John Matson versus Carlos Villamola, though. Um, and we'll see what about, oh, we'll just see about Spike TV. We'll see. Uh, so let's get this going. Daniel Roberts versus Forrest Pets. I got Roberts. Uh, Seth Petzrelli makes his return against Ricardo Romero. I have Romero winning. Uh, Joel Harris versus Dave, Dave Bunch. I have Harris. John Matson versus Carlos Villamola. Villamola is extremely aggressive. He's going to push the pace. He's going to use his strength. Um, his striking's not very technical and he's as if he hits you it's he hits you pretty hard that's pretty much about it he's he's he doesn't have the greatest striking but he has extremely good takedowns and and he's very strong so um, and very aggressive and I just see him too aggressive for Matson. I, I even though Matson is probably the better wrestler um, I just think being Molson uses strength and uh, his aggressiveness um, he's going to get Matson on the ground, and I think he's just going to pound on him. So, I got Villamola in that fight. Uh, Kendall Grove was Goran Relic. Um, this was a tough one to call. I mean, to be honest, I I, I think when Goran Relic fought C.B. Dalloway, it wasn't the Goran Relic we saw when he defeated Wilson Govea in his debut. Um, from the Govea fight to the C.B. Dalloway fight was a huge gap, and, and I, I think that kind of showed. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big Kendall Grove fan. Um, but I think Goran Relic makes his return here. I, I think we're going to see you when he fought Wilson Govea. Um, I want to pick Kendall Grove in this fight. I want to have Kendall Grove win this one. But I think Relic, it, you know, having now not too much time off in between fights, we're going to see the Relic that beat Wilson Govea. So I'm going to go with Goran Relic, second round TKO over Kendall Grove. Um, yeah. Brennan Schwab versus Chris Tushner. I just think Tushner is tough as hell. I mean... He took those groin shots from Gabriel Gonzaga. I mean, that, yeah, that, you have to you have to give your heart out to that one. I mean, if you're gonna take groin shots from Gabriel Gonzaga, I mean, <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah, just wow. But I think Brennan Schwab just is, is better overall, better well rounded, and um, so I'm gonna go with Brendan Schwab unanimous decision over Chris Tushner. On to the main bouts: uh, uh, Stefan Bonner versus Christoph Sosinski. Um, I. This is a rematch from the last fight, and I, I really don't see much difference. Uh, before the stoppage, Szczynski was winning it um, in my eyes, and, and I think he's going to win this one. I just think he's uh, he's too much for Bonner. I mean, if you if Stefan Bonner could get this to the ground, that should be his game plan. Um, I think striking is Kristoff is better, and um, just I think all three rounds, you know, Bonner could win a round uh, if Kristoff takes a round off. Um, I can see Bonner maybe winning the third as Kristoff wins one and two. Uh, but I just see Kristoff just overall just beating Stefan Bonner. So I go Kristoff Szczynski's unanimous decision over Stefan Bonner. Uh, next one, I can't wait for this fight. Chris Lytle versus Matt Brown. When I, when I heard this fight, I was like, yes, finally. It, they're, they're not big names, but both of these stars have three qualities that I, I, I love about fighters. that They have heart. They have a great chin, and they love to fight. They love to throw it down. And Chris Lytle, Matt Brown, yeah, has fire of the night written all over it, fire of the year, fight of the decade. It, it's going to be a great fight. I I really don't see a lot of people booing this fight. I, don't, I see a lot of cheers. I see a lot of screaming because this fight's going to be awesome. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, but... If we're going to take this down, we're going to break it down. I have to give Chris Lytle the overall advantage in this fight. I think he's better striking. I think he's better on the ground. I think he has very underrated uh, ground game, uh, even though, you know, a lot of people, you know, he, he's won a majority of his fights by submission. But people still seem to, you know, when they see Chris Lytle, they think, oh, he's going to stand up. He could very well take this to the ground and submit Matt Brown. Matt Brown has been submitted before, and Chris Lytle can very easily submit Matt Brown. Um... Matt Brown, he, he has a great chin, he has a great heart, and he's great at standing up. He could give a war to his Lytle, and he could actually beat Lytle on the feet. I just don't see that happening. I see Lytle winning, the stand-up winning, and on the ground, and I see him getting a decision. He could submit Matt Brown, um, but I, I just got to go with Lytle's um, unanimous decision over Matt Brown.
I can't wait for it. It's going to be a great fight. Uh, on to the next one. Chris Lieben versus Yashihiro Akiyama. It was supposed to be Randall, Randall A. Silva, um, but Randall A. injured his ribs. So instead, Chris Lieben. And even though Akiyama's probably bummed out he's not going to fight Randall A., I, I hope he doesn't take Chris Lieben lightly. Um, when, he, when he just fought Aaron Simpson, I think he shocked a lot of people. And he kind of showed that, you know, he's not done yet. And he still has... Some, some fighting left in him, and he still wants to fight here in the UFC. Because I think if he lost to Aaron Simpson, he probably would have got cut. Um, but he won that fight, and great performance by him. But on the other side, Akiyama, I think, is a more polished version of Aaron Simpson. Um, I, I think Akiyama is going to use his judo. I think he's going to get Lieben down, and I think he's going to hold him there. I really don't see Akiyama standing up with Chris Lieben. I mean, he, I don't think he really wants to take that, you know, that risk of getting knocked out. Um, so I'm going to go with Akiyama, unanimous decision over Chris Lieben. I want to see Lieben win the fight, I really do, but I think Akiyama is just a more polished version of Aaron Simpson, and uh, he's going to get Lieben to the ground. Next fight, Kurt Pellegrino over George Sotaropoulos. Uh I just think even... I'd have to give this to Sotaropoulos, to be honest, because I think he, every time we see Sotaropoulos fight, he keeps improving, and, and he just... And he showed that against Joe Stevenson. I truly think Joe Stevenson thought he was going to run all over George Sotaropoulos and end in the first round and get knocked out or submission of the night. And George Sotaropoulos said, <laughs> nope, <laughs> nope, I'm going to beat you all three rounds and I'm going to dominate you and send you home crying. Because he dominated Joe Stevenson and uh, it was a great performance by George Sotaropoulos. And I think I see a very similar outcome in this fight. I just don't see Kurt Pellegrino. I could see Kurt Pellegrino taking this fight to the ground and being on top all three rounds. Um, winning it that way. But I just see George Sotaropoulos. His ground game is just too much. Um, and I see him submitting Kurt Pellegrino. So I'm going to go with George Sotaropoulos. Second round submission over Kurt Pellegrino. The Batman. On to the main event. Okay, on to the main event, Brock Lesnar versus Shane Carwin. Um, when I first, they first announced this fight, I, I, you know, even though I dislike Brock Lesnar a lot, um, I kind of pick Lesnar to win this. And, you know, he, he's a freak of nature. He, he takes people down at will. He keeps you there. He's strong enough to keep you there and, and hit you, and, and you're going to lose. I mean, he, that's just who he is. Um, he's extremely strong. Um, his wrestling is unbelievable. He's extremely fast for his size. Um, and I continue that. I was like, okay, sadly, Brock's going to win this. Um, and I continue that pick until today before I made this video. And I was like, you know what? I got to have faith in Shane Carwin. Um, this is what Shane Carwin's got to do to win the fight. And I think he's going to pull it off. He's got to get inside. He's got to get in the clinch. He's got a dirty box. And he's got to use his short punches that he's really good at. And he's going to knock Brock Lesnar out. So, you know, he can't stay on the outside with Brock. That's just waiting for him to take him down. You know, you got to take a risk. And that's getting in the clinch. That's where his best thing is at. You know, I mean, he's got to learn. You know, Brock, Shane Carwin has tremendous power in his hands. And Brock Lesnar training at Randy, you know, Extreme Couture with Randy Couture. I think he's learning that. The dirty boxing. He's getting ready for it. But I think... The size difference between Randy Couture and Shane Carwin is tremendously a big difference. I mean, it's on size, strength, you know, and so, you know, I, I, it's smart for Brock to go train at Randy, but I, I, I just think Shane Carwin's going to have too much strength for Brock. I mean, if anyone can go, you know, strength for strength in the UFC against Brock, it's Shane Carwin. Um, and, and let's be honest, Brock Lesnar's striking isn't too good. Um, and he needs to, that's the one thing that he needs to work on, and if anything can derail him, it will be Shane Carwin, whose stand-up is much better than uh, Brock Lesnar's, who, if he does hit Brock cleanly, it, it's going to be over. I mean, that, that's just it, you know, I mean, so I'm going to go with Shane Carwin, first round TKO, he's got to get inside the clinch and dirty box um, to win this fight, so that's how I see it, so there's, there's my predictions for UFC 116. Um, I will be doing a strike force, which happened last night. Review. Um, I think a lot of people know by now what happened. Uh, Fedor lost to Fabricio Verdun. Um, but I'll be discussing a little bit more MMA than just strike force on that review. So um, that video will be out shortly. I'm probably going to go to bed. It's like 12:30 here, West Coast, and I have four kids that wake me up super early. So. 
yeah, so there you go. There's my video. UFC 116 predictions next Saturday. Adios. Good night. Enjoy your day.